Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I've got two lettuce plants here that I've grown in containers and one of those containers had an air stone in it. As you can see one of those lettuce plants was way bigger than the other one and at the end of this video I'll reveal for you whether it was the air stone version or not that ended up growing more. Pretty simple container setup here. Holes cut in the top for my neck cups and one of those holes had a slight addition to it over to the side which is going to allow room for this air stone pump to sit inside of the container. I bought this air stone on Amazon and I'll provide a link to not only that but everything that I'm using here in the description below. I've got some lettuce plants growing in my seed starter here. These are about two and a half to three weeks old. Be sure to check out my other videos on starting seeds or building your own seed starter if you're still at that stage. These lettuce plants though are pretty healthy. They've got three or four leaves on them and a decent amount of roots, which is going to allow me to move them into a crack key style container where the roots will hang down through the neck cup into the water below inside of those containers. Here I've got regular tap water and my nutrient solution already mixed in. I'm gonna be filling these containers up basically to the bottom of the neck cup to make sure that the roots have good access to water. And as you can see on this container here, I've got a small hole off to the side to accommodate for the hose of the air pump to get inside. There's a lot of websites and information out there suggesting that adding an air stone to your crack key reservoir will help the plant grow faster. So that's exactly what I wanted to test out here with this two container setup, one having the air stone and one not. The idea behind the air stone is that it adds oxygen to the water through those bubbles that you just saw. And that oxygen in the water helps the plant roots to breathe and grow. With both of these containers all set up, I've moved both of these plants under my light and into my growing station. And I'm going to record and show you guys what these plants look like over the next couple of weeks and see if there's any differences between the air stone container and the non air stone container. My air stone is running on that small timer. It's running for six seconds every minute just to sort of intermittently disperse the bubbles. And so here we are at the end of two weeks. Surprisingly, the container that had the air stone was the plant on the left. This plant is much smaller. The plant on the right is bigger. The leaves are more vibrant and colorful, as well as just much more luscious to the touch. The root systems as well are considerably larger for the container that did not have the air stone in it. All in all, it seems like air stones are a bit of a bust, at least in this scenario, growing lettuce, it did not help. Let me know in the comments below if you use air stones, if you think they work, the progress that you've seen with or without air stones. Ultimately, I don't think I'll be using air stones again for a while. Thanks for checking out this video and please subscribe to the channel.